Most of the questions regarding Bandicoot title zoom in transition relate to a 3000 pixel error with the transform effect. Although a solution for this issue is provided in the video, some of you still encounter the same problem especially when your title is longer like Indonesia or Singapore. Therefore, in this video, we will try to address this problem using an alternative method adjusting the scale parameter under motion instead of using the transform effect. So let's dive into Premiere Pro first. Inside Premiere Pro, there is a drone video clip on the timeline. Now our next step is type a longer name of a country. First select the type tool from the toolbar, then click on the program monitor and type Indonesia or the desired country name. After typing select the entire title and go to the Essential Graphics panel. If you can't find the Essential Graphics panel you can enable it from the window menu. Now ensure that the title is selected so it can change its font. In my case I prefer the bold font which is suitable for zoom in transition. Let's select the Papons bold font, then click on all caps to make all letters capitalized. After that we can adjust its scale, click on align center horizontally and align center vertically. Once done we can switch back to the selection tool. Now we need to move the title layer to the left and adjust its duration to match the video layer underneath. With the title layer selected navigate to the effect controls panel, move the time indicator to the beginning frame, click on the stopwatch icons for both position and scale to create two keyframes at the first frame. Now move the time indicator to 5 seconds to set the duration of the zoom in transition. Add 5 to 2, making it 7 seconds. Once done, you'll notice the time indicator has moved to the right on the timeline. And the effects control has been updated accordingly. Now click on the small diamond icon to set last two keyframes for the position and scale. Then increase the scale value to zoom in on the title. Additionally, adjust its position by changing the X value of the position to center the letter O because this will be the anchor point or center point of the zoom in transition. Well, now we can move the time indicator to preview our zoom in animation or transition. If I play back the video, you'll notice it starts zooming too quickly at the beginning and gradually slows down. Now we need to improve it by adjusting the velocity of the animation. To do this, first select the first two keyframes, right click on any of them and choose Ease Out. Next, select the last two keyframes and make them ease in. These settings will help us adjust the velocity of the animation. Now, expand the position and scale properties to reveal a white line on each property, representing the velocity curve. You can drag this line down to make it bigger, which will help adjust the curve more easily. Next, click on the first keyframe of the position to reveal the velocity handles, represented by blue lines. You can use these handles to shape the velocity curve. Drag the handlebar start cut to the right maximum. Then click on keyframes of scale to reveal its handles and drag it straight cut to the right, similar to the position handlebar. Ensure that this handle is straight to avoid any issues in zoom in animation. Okay, let's play back the animation to see how it works. It's now zooming very smoothly. However, in some cases, you may need to adjust the handles of the last keyframes for fine tuning. To do this, position the time indicator just before the last keyframes. Then drag the handlebar of the last keyframe of the position to the right, aligning it with the time indicator position. Repeat the same process for the last keyframe of the scale. This adjustment will ensure a seamless transition. For a better understanding of adjusting the velocity, you can also watch the tutorial of Bandicoot title zoom in transition linked in the description. Now you can play back the video again to observe the zoom in transition. Well, the transition looks good, there is an issue with lack of motion blur. Adding motion blur to this transition can make it appear more natural. Since this is not a transform effect, we can add natural motion blur in an alternative way. First, go to the effects panel and search for the first blur out effect. Apply these effects to the text layer on the timeline. Once applied, you will find the effects preset in the effect controls panel. Now grab these keyframes and move them to the left following the last keyframes of the motion. Then move the time indicator slightly to observe how the blur is working. If necessary, adjust the first keyframe positions to enable the blur earlier. Ease out the first keyframe to make it smoother. Finally, play back the video again to see the final transition. For other tasks such as masking and adding another video, you can watch the main tutorial of BNTK title transition linked in the description. I hope this video helps you fix your issue with the 3000 pixels error in Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.